Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and today is very special. We get to talk about the top 10 JDM cars in Need for Speed Heat. Let's go! Real quick, before I get into today's video, I just want to thank the sponsor of the video, Toner Microphones. Toner has the best bang for your buck microphones in the industry, like this newly released TC40 condenser microphone. It's only $69.99 on Amazon with the link in the description, and it comes with a pop filter, a boom arm, and a shock mount. It's perfect for voiceovers on YouTube, podcasts, and gaming because of its cardioid pickup pattern and excellent audio quality. It's also got top-notch cable routing on the boom arm and it's simple to set up. Just plug and play for Windows, Mac, or Linux, and PS4 and PS5. If you're in the market for a microphone and you're on a budget, Toner is literally the best choice you can make. All right, this list is probably well overdue. I should have done this two years ago. However, I only just thought of the idea like this last week. So here we are. We've got the top 10 JDM cars you have to own in Need for Speed Heat. And these cars are not in order of like who's the fastest car and who's the slowest car like I did with the supercars these are just the top 10 in an order in which it makes sense to me why you should own these cars so some of them are the fastest in their fields some of them are the best drift car in their field and so that's how I've made this list but anyway let's get into it so at number 10 we've got the 2002 Nissan Silvia spec R aero this car made the list because of its insane amount of customization it's a 10 out of 10 for customization and it unlocks early in the game so taking it with you through your entire Entire journey of progression is super gratifying. You can have 10 of these side by side, each customized by a different person, and none of them would look identical. But on top of that, it is a decently fast car. It's top 30 for both track and drag racing. It'll cost you about $45,000 and it unlocks at rep level three. At number nine, we've got the 1992 Honda NSX Type R. This car makes the list at number nine for being, well, the ninth fastest drag car and the ninth fastest off-road car. It's not bad on the track either, as it managed to snag the last spot in the top 20. It's not super customizable, but it is one of the best looking Hondas ever. It'll cost you 96,500 and it unlocks at rep level 16. At number eight, we've got the 2010 Subaru Impreza WRX STI. The hatchback Subi made the list partly because of its versatility, but mostly because of its value at night. It is one of my favorite cars to use when racing at night because it accelerates very well from a dead stop, which helps to evade the cops. It also takes a hit very, very well and can survive longer than most other cars at night. This car will cost you 50,500 and it unlocks at rep level 24. At number seven, we've got the 1996 Nissan 180SX Type X. Now this is actually one of the starter cars in the game, but it's a beast when it comes to off-road and drag racing. For off-road, it's ranked at number six and it's the fastest JDM car for drag racing that I've found so far. Now because of that alone, it earns this seventh spot in my rankings for top 10. It'll cost you 43,500 and it unlocks at rep level 14 if you didn't pick it as a starter car. At number six, we've got the 1996 Mazda MX-5. This car is in the top 15 for track racing, which is great when you consider there are only 130 cars. But besides that, it's also in the top five in both drag racing and off-road racing. It's an all-around fast car and super fun to customize. It's an 8 out of 10 for customization. I definitely recommend picking this up. It'll cost you 31000 and it unlocks at rep level 20. At number 5, we've got the 2004 Acura RSX Type S. I had to include this car because it's not only the fastest off-road JDM car, it's only a few tenths of a second behind the RSR in off-road applications, making it the second fastest off-road car in the entire game, let alone just JDM. It surprised the heck out of me when I was testing this off-road. Now it's not real good for much of anything else, but this is an off-road monster. It costs $34,000 and it unlocks at rep level 20. At number four, 
We've got the 2002 Mazda RX-7. This car made it to number four because of one thing, drifting. It is the best drift car in the game and it's not even close. It scores higher than any other car. That being said, it should. Its drift heritage is among the top in the world in real life, so I'm glad they got this one right. Besides drifting, it's actually decently fast on the track as well. Right now, I have it ranked at number 23 on my Aryan leaderboard and number 13 for drag racing, which again is pretty decent. It costs 59,500 and it unlocks at rep level 4. At number 3, I've got the 1971 Nissan 280Z Fair Lady. This car is the closest thing to the RSR in terms of overall feel. It's slightly slower than the RSR, but it's an absolute beast in its own rights. Also, its customization is a 9 out of 10. There are all kinds of ways that you can customize this car to make it your own. And because this car is older and cheaper in this game, I think many people pass it up when searching for a new car to buy. This is truly one of the hidden gems in Need for Speed Heat. Its cost is 28,000 and it unlocks at rep level 12. At number two, we've got the 2007 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 9. Now I know many of you might argue with me on this as to why it's number two, but I put it at number two because it's the most versatile JDM car in the entire game. It's not number one in any of these categories, but it's definitely top tier in literally everything in the game. It's fast on the track, not super fast, but fast. It's fast at drag racing, it's fast at off-road racing, and it's a very smooth drift car. This car is one you can use for absolutely everything in the game, provided that you switch up your build for each of the activities. It costs you 72,500, and it unlocks at rep level 16. And finally, at number one, we've got the 1971 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. This car is a beast of a race car on the track. It is the fastest JDM car and my personal favorite car in Need for Speed Heat. It's got that classic JDM style and it is the GTR that started it all. It has earned the number one spot for not only its looks, but for being the fastest car, this is a racing game after all. It will cost you 27,000 and it unlocks at rep level 20. Hey, before I go, shout out to all the Heat 5 members of the channel. If you want to see your name up here with the rest of these legends, all you have to do is click the join button below and become a Heat 5 member. By doing this, you'll be supporting the channel in ways you will not believe, and you get all kinds of sweet perks like members only streams and specific exclusive Discord channel access. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.